I was able to convince one of my favorite humans to stay here this weekend, and uh, she is with us tonight. You know her from Trash Tuesday. Like, you Comedy. Walk me to my truck. I'm like, so what? I can <laughs> you? Like what? Wait, like, who was it? Make some noise for my friend Annie Letterman, everybody. goodness wow holy shit chugging a sugar-free red bull <laughs> it's annie. really cute you guys ready to start this fucking thing or what oh shit annie again it's good to be here i was in dallas recently and i got a girl into my hotel room but she didn't want to have sex with me um she was like i don't want you to just fuck me and then forget about me I was like, well, if you don't fuck me, I'm definitely going to forget about you. <laughs> I, uh... Is that real Aviator Nation that you're wearing? Where'd you get that from? I did a show there, and they gave us $300 credit. And this Whoa. Yeah. yeah. I, I have a trick for that show. Um, if you book yourself on the show and then cancel, you still get the $200. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's some. L.A. trickery a, right there. I got, a free, I got a free outfit today is all I'm saying. Wow. I've been co corresponding with the beautiful female waitress from uh, Florida. 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 Oh. It tr what did you say? Transponding? <laughs> corresponding. <laughs> corresponding. Okay. What does this mean? You say it like you're writing letters back and forth with a <laughs> quill pen or something. Yeah, it's the way he can say that he's friend-zoned already. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. We did have sex. Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you. Uh, wow. We got back to the hotel after a very, 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 very long day Saturday night. We're all walking to the elevators, and Hans informs us that he has a girl in his room waiting. Ooh. Uh, to have sex with him is what he said. Yeah. So we're she was like, actually a waitress. She was waiting. Uh, yeah. How long was she hotel? in the room? Two hours. Okay. And then you like leave a room key for her. Is this your big puss night? Yeah, it's pretty big for me. Yeah. Huge. Now, did you used to take them back to your van to fuck? Trug walk. Make some noise for Callen Glaw, everyone. So there's this garden store near my hometown called uh, Plant Parenthood. For some reason, all they sell is weed killer. Ah, shit. <laughs> very, very, very interesting. <laughs> Thank you, you are an, a really, really odd looking character. How old are you? <laughs> What's that? How old are you? I'm 22. 22 years old, yeah. and you already look like a full blown pedophile. Wow. That yes. is incredible. <laughs> Barely old enough to even be a pedophile. He only could have been a pedophile for four years. Yeah. Meanwhile, you look like you have a master's yeah. degree in pedophilia. I actually have a story about that. If you I want bet to you it. fucking I do. do. I do. I got some wine coolers. Are you the only child? Yeah. Did you bring protection? Yeah. The only bad news about that is you're probably not going to need that type of protection tonight. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a setup. Yeah. So uh, I just graduated college a couple months ago, uh -huh. and uh, I got reported in the theater building. Um, I was in this show, and I was talking to this guy, and we were talking about post-nut clarity. I, I told him, I, I said, I hate when that happens to me. You know, whenever it happens to me, I just wipe my hand off in the bushes and wave goodbye to the kids at the park. Why don't you have a seat right over there? <laughs> Scary. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, shit. So, Oh, you're one of so, the you have you have Down syndrome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Put the glasses back on, bro. Put the fucking glasses back on. Damn. Yeah. Corky likes to porky. Uh, what are you doing around here, Edward? <laughs> I'm here to see the Stonewall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to see the Stonewall? 
Come with me to the back of the car. I'll, I'll show you this. That sounded really gay. God <laughs> damn it, dude. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to. <laughs> it's just that paired with the shirt sounded <laughs> gay. Yeah. So. Oh, my God. Tell us something embarrassing about your life, Callan. Uh, one time I banged a fat girl to church. Whoa, damn. She was sneaking in the communion and you fucking got her? Yeah, dude. It's like, Did you really... David spray her? What's that? Did you David spray her? What's that? I don't like know. Like David spray. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. She put her finger in my butt. Uh, Whoa. I wasn't expecting damn. that. <laughs> Make some noise for Theo Constantino. Thank you, Austin. As soon as I got here, Homeless people kept coming up to me, shaking their change cups. So much that I had to say, no, thank you, I, I have enough. <laughs> Found out a bunch of perverts live near me, so I'm moving. <laughs> Relax. That's it, thanks guys. Wow, Theo Constantino, ladies and gentlemen, with some very, uh, very light comedy here. Um, <laughs> light laughter. <laughs> how long have you been doing this? A uh, little bit over four years. Oh, Jesus oh. fucking Christ, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Theo, you are a fucking, a, uh, not a savage. <laughs> Who's booking you? <laughs> what do you do for work, Theo? I work in a lab in biotech. Okay. What, what are you doing in this laboratory? Are you uh, perhaps creating um, virus strains that make you unfunny? <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. People like you, your parents are always together. Do you understand? <laughs> Fun fact for all of you comedy fans, 0% of your favorite comedians have parents that are together. 0%. Most of them were <laughs> as children, ruthlessly, thrown in the streets, shoved into lockers, face fucked by their enemies, and that is how you create monsters. You see, this is the kind of comedy you get when your parents are unhappily together. You have, uh, you, you have uh, one, no, two sisters? Yeah. Which one's tell, tighter? I can tell. There, it, it takes a certain... Red band literally throwing anything against the wall for a laugh at this point. <laughs> Theo Constantino, you are one of the most uh, water-flavored human beings I've ever a jelly out of this of, bucket. A jellyfish of comedians. Yes. Make some noise for your next comedian, Lino Rodriguez, everybody. Here we go. We're getting into it. What's up, folks? Period sex is a lot like ramen noodles when you think about it, right? I mean, am I right or am I right? Annie Letterman, what do you think about this guy? He's so eager. You eager have, to eat that bloody beaver. All the time. Wish there was some blood in that mouth right now. You look like a Mexican red band. <laughs> or as I call him, brown band. Or, or wet band, for that matter. Uh, Lino, did they, did it, did the feet distract them from making fun of how fat you were? <laughs> Back to the bucket we go. Cameron Mai is next. M-A-I. Hey. How you guys doing? You guys hanging out? That's cool, man. My life is falling apart. My job sucks, man. I know my job sucks because people tell me. Like I work at Target, I was stocking shelves. This one lady came up to me, she was like, hey, it gets better. <laughs> All right, Cameron Mai, am I saying that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry awesome. I don't look more Asian. No, it's all good. I, lo I like your look. You're like Thank Malcolm you. in the middle of being electrocuted. <laughs> uh, Cameron, I'm guessing uh, by your skin tone, this is your first time out of the house in a while. Oh, fuck. Uh. What's been going not, on, dude? I've been hitting that Texas sun. You're right. What it's do you What do you do for work? Uh, I work at Target. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. 
What else? What's something dangerous that you've done in your life? Something dangerous? Yeah. Uh, I, I went to like a lot of burns when I was a kid with my family. It was like burns? Burning Man type festivals. Yeah, I was like 12 hanging out there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you're like what happens when like instead of fetal alcohol syndrome, it's like they did acid and stuff while they were pregnant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I had to ruin like so many people's acid trips probably. Yeah, just a kid like popping just up. Are you kid. fucking kidding me? Yeah. So your parents would take you to wild well, it was just festivals. just my mom. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. right. Your parents yeah. aren't together. No, no That's way. That's why you're exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What? Part How about up. you, Cameron? What's your love life like? You seem like the kind of guy that jerks off by looking in the mirror. I am single. That, that, that was a lie. You sure. are single. Those relationship jokes were a lie. I knew I you were lying. You, you don't do fucking laundry. You're 19 years old. Whoa. You've never done your own fucking laundry. I was raised laundry. by a single mother. I do my own laundry. She taught oh me to be a strong, God. independent Whoa. man. A, Look at how he talks man. to women. <laughs> We're moving along steadily here. Very smooth. Does Cameron's last name stand for Cameron, my dad never was around? I wrote that for her. Uh, Darian Irwin is next. Darian Irwin. We're moving along. Oh, he's... I uh, I caught my daughter watching incest, and uh, now I don't want to ruin my chances by telling her she's adopted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't have a daughter. <laughs> she's adopted. Coming in, showing how it's done. Wow. Doing jokes, getting laughs. Absolutely incredible. What's something about your life that we don't know about? Uh, uh, my parents are divorced. Yep. My <laughs> parents are divorced. I got divorced when I was 11. My mom went crazy and left. Uh, she's somewhere. And... Uh, <laughs> She's cool. I think she's a comedy fan, which is weird. And really? How do you know she's a comedy fan? I, do, I made that up. And, All right. uh, You're like, Mom, I, I do incest jokes. I would have fucked you. I would have <laughs> fucked you if you were here. Oh, my goodness. I fucking love money. Uh, you do. Now, what do you think you're going to do with that? I see you rubbing your nose a lot. I know you don't... It's funny, dude. All my friends love doing coke, but I can tell they don't like doing it with me. You know what right. I mean? It's, <laughs> they know it could go bad any moment. Well, it's hard to roll you out in front of a hospital. Yeah, you know? yeah. Back to the bucket we go. Max Wissinger is next. Max Wissinger out of the bucket. Two for two, baby. Whenever uh, people treat me like shit, I remind myself that Jesus was literally the perfect guy. And, well, we all know what happened to him. Max Wissinger, ladies and gentlemen. I swear to God, if one more child bombs up here tonight, what the fuck is happening? Max, how did it go last week? How did you feel? I actually think it was better last week. I think so, too. And I don't even remember. So that goes to show you how bad today was. Parents totally together. True. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, tell us something else interesting about your life. What's your love life like? What's it like being a young gay man here in Austin, Texas? I'm, well, I am taking in the ass on rent. Wow, look at you. Okay, I bet that, I bet that would make your father who's in your life laugh. It's been a long time since she's been on the show. This is a brand new minute from the famous Miss Amy O, everybody. The one and only Miss Amy O, everyone. He threw me off. He said, Young and Anna. Anna. I found out that I'm part of the LBGTQ thing. I thought bisexual was you paid for sex. But instead, it means the way I feel when I look at luscious ladies like this. You know? I mean, it's just a natural feeling, you know? 
But we have another thing in common, and I gotta say it quickly, because the meow. We all swam out of our daddy's balls. Thank you, thank you. Miss Amy O. Woo, 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 woo. Wow. Yeah. More insane than ever, I love it. <laughs> Everybody's crazy aunt has arrived to the show. I well, love it. Sometimes he calls me his mother, though, Anna. Depends on his mood. <laughs> Whoa. Anna! Miss Amy O, uh -oh. for those of you that don't know, is one of the few people that ever comes on the show that is on both Adderall and Metamucil at the same time. <laughs> A very I don't even know what Adderall is, but I heard that I'd be bossing on it. This is why you don't do drugs. It's like uh, crystal meth light. Oh, wow. Homework See, I coke. never could do crystal meth because it slowed me down. <laughs> she is batshit. <laughs> and, uh, there oh, are better right. ways than sex when you're my age, trust me. There are better things than sex because masturbation, to me, is the best, most intimate thing a person can learn how to do. I'm going to kill you. It's not always their job to make you come. You should take that job yourself. Yeah. I thought you meant taking your dentures out and giving a blowjob. I don't have dentures, ma'am. Considering the fact he says I'm on drugs, I have pretty nice teeth, don't you think? All right, Miss Amy O. <laughs> I hate you. There she goes, everybody. Miss Amy O, everyone. You know him as the Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine, the Vanilla Gorilla. This is William Lights Out Montgomery. Oh, William. Word to the wise, don't have sex with Miss Amy O unless you're prepared to get bombarded by text messages. <laughs> Where's the fat slob I miss? Where's that fat I know, shit, you that saw fucked me. fucked up, wasted, fat fucking slob? You A were. disgusting pig, that's how you would have described me? 100%. Okay, yeah, I remember that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Uh, <laughs> I really remember that. Um, you famously got sober uh, a year and a half ago and bought a crock pot, and that has changed your life. Bye. Yeah, if people, if you have a crock pot at home, put a couple of the big cans of SpaghettiOs in there. Uh, <laughs> Get a couple of hot dogs, chop the hot dogs up really nice and fine. Uh, put them on top of that, add some beans. I've been adding some maple glazed baked beans to the mixture. Uh, I've been adding some spinach leaves. I've oh, been yeah. adding Vitamins. a lot of Parmesan. Boxes of macaroni and cheese. I've been adding them. I've been adding bananas, which is so weird. A lot of people wow. think it's weird putting bananas in the crock pot, but it actually makes the mixture very sweet. Wow. I, 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 I have the same recipe, but I add a little uh, uh, Sour Patch Kits to the crock pot at the end. Yeah, that sounds like what a f it would do. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. This is a sign of the apocalypse. My fucking Kmart stock, I had 200,000 fucking dollars in Kmart stock. It's now worth shit! Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, I feel like this hasn't gone how I was expecting it tonight. I was yeah. thinking those first jokes about my impression of my agent, which I don't even have. I thought those would be hilarious. And I was obviously wrong about that. And now I'm wondering about what's going on up here. And... Do you ever think about um, drinking again when you're up here? I'm just smoking a bunch of weed now, so oh, okay. it's been fine. Like yeah, weed. let's give it up like for weed. marijuana. Like there you go. You got the crowd back on your side again. <laughs> <tell you. laughs> Who likes oxygen? Yeah. <laughs> Who likes plants? <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Make some noise for the great and powerful William oh, Montgomery, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He did it. Catch him on Cameo in his own show, The William Montgomery Show. Guys, make some noise for tonight's guest, the great Annie Letterman, everybody. The great Annie Letterman, everybody. That's the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. 